Hey guys, how's it going? Today let's talk about window management. How many windows do you have in your frame? For me, it's usually about two or three windows in one frame. But sometimes I need to um, open uh, other files in other projects. So in that case, I usually in the past I usually I prefer to create another frame to uh, for this additional. Um, buffers or, or, or files but just recently I found that there's a cool feature there's a, uh, but recently I found that there's a cool feature that was introduced in EMS 27 it's called tab bar mode um, what you provide is the tabs that that is what you are familiar with in other software but it's much much better so let's uh, dive in and uh, see what it looks like. So first, let's uh, see how to create a new tab. There are a few ways, and the most basic one is tab new, which is bounded to Control X T two, and see it will create a new tab and uh, use the current buffer as the buffer in it. And because uh, more often than not, we are we have to switch to other buffer after that. So, um, a better a better way is to uh, create the tab and uh, use a buffer that we specified. So let's what this uh, switch to buffer other tab provide. So let's try it out. Um, Control X T. B and select a buffer. Let's assume. Uh, let's use this GNU Emacs, and it provides exactly what we want. And uh, these two file, uh, these two commands are similar. And our final file other tab is to open um, or find a new uh, a file in, and then open it in a uh, in the new tab. And this is for diode. And uh, besides those, we have this cure way. It's called other tab prefix. We can we we'll provide is that it will uh, let us decide what commands we want to use to open a buffer and then use that buffer in the new tab. So let's try it. Control X. TT and uh, you say that display new command buffer in a new tab. So let's assume that we want to open a info documentation system in the new tab. See, so it will create a new tab here. So now that we have four tabs, now let's look. Um, let, 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 let's take a look at how to uh, switch tabs and uh, like other GUI programs we can use a mouse we can use the mouse to switch tabs just like this and uh, we can also use commands tab next or tab previous to go back and forth between these tabs um, so it's let's try control XTO, it will go to next tab, and uh, because I've enabled repeat mode, now I can go back and forth with just one letter O or big O. And uh, you can see that we press O to go from left to right, and uh, big O to go to switch tabs from the right to the left yeah that's because I've enabled repeat mode and uh, we can also uh, select tabs by numbers and um, yeah here we have to um, take the config a little bit at first I've bound the modifier key to matter and uh, Enable the hint. It will show a number in each tab, so that I can 
if I wanna go to this tab, I need to press Alt three and Alt two. Go to this infra buffer and Alt one. Go back to the first buffer, uh, first tab. And now, no let frames don't have this similar. Uh, don't have these features, so it's quite awesome. And beyond that, we can also select tab by names. So now that we have four tabs, and uh, we can just uh, press Control X T and enter, and it will prompt a menu for us to switch uh, to to select from them. And go back to the first tab, and. Uh, because we have two two tabs with the same name here, we can even rename tabs names with Control S R to rename it to to, to rename it. Um, let's uh, rename this tab to outline. Uh, video outline. Okay. Yeah. And next next. Let's talk about how to closing a tab or tabs. So it has two commands here: tab close to close one tab, and tab close other to close all other tabs except the color one. So let's go to tab two and press Control X T zero. See, it will get closed. And uh, Control X one close all the other tabs. And uh, what if we wanna restore the last close tab? Because sometimes we may close a tab by accident. So we can do Control X U. Um, yeah, why is that? Because uh, I think it's because. Um, this no, uh, because I, I just close all the other tabs, so let's try it another time. Control new, uh, control T U. Oh, you bring back more tabs. Okay, let's do it one more time. Control T one. Close all the other tab and uh, Control T new and close this no, Control close this tab and uh, now let undo the close tab. Hmm. Hmm, seems like there's some bugs here. Anyways, let's. Um, that's basically the whole feature of this. Um, maybe I should say that's the basic features of tab bar mode. And uh, there are two benefits here. We can be more organized uh, because we can put a relevant um, project windows in one frame and uh, the other. Windows in other tabs, and uh, so that we can be more focused. So that's it. I hope you will like it and try it out yourself. It's definitely worth the time. And uh, you can also check out the links in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Bye.